Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Nigel here, Nigel's Modeling Bench, and another review. This is actually the third review I've filmed today. This is uh, Friday the 25th of October 2019. And in front of you here, you can see my lovely Roden C141B, which I'm doing a build on. Um, currently on part 11, which is uh, finishing off the gloss work and applying the decals. Now, this should give you a clue to what the Roden decals are like. I've got two sets of decals here, one for the Roden C141 as you've just seen, and one set for the Roden C5B slash M, which I've also got, which I bought recently and I'm currently making resin engines for. Um, now, I started doing this, if you've seen um, part 11 already, you'll know this already, I started adding the decals, I tried using the Microset Micro Salt, I tried using the Mr. Mark Setter and Mr. Mark Softer, and I used it both way rounds. That one first, and that one second, that one first and second, that one first and second, and then that one first, and that one second. And none of it worked. I even tried on some scrap decals here to try and see if they'd go down. And I don't know if you can see, but there's some tiny decals there off the road and sheet. And you can see they're very glossy, they're a bit silvery, and they haven't gone into the detail at all. So, um, Basically, forget this, the model looks quite nice, it's been a lot of work with seam lines and stuff, so let's uh, get some aftermarket decals for it. So that's exactly what I've done. So today I thought what I'll do is a review on these, which is the C141 Starlifter decal set from Caracal Models CD144002. Now I know the glossiness of the bag is driving you crazy, the light reflecting, so let's get it out of the bag. So here we can see we've got basically two decal sheets and we've got a instruction book. Now we've got many options. You can see it says we've got 11 marking options. Just going to check whether we gloss slightly. Okay. We've got 11 marking options for the strategic airlifters. Now some of these are actually C141As, so you may have to do a bit of conversion work on your model, but it says here for the Roden kit. So we've got the original uh, white and grey, then we've got the grey, and then we've got the, uh, I think it was called the lizard scheme, wasn't it? So going in here now, um, we've got uh, option one, which is City of Charleston, 1986. Um, so you can see there we've got the white and the grey, military airlift command. Uh, use the signal blue striping for the dark sheet line. So we've, we've got decals for that. Then we've got this one here, which is the one I'll probably do from the year 2000, which is 670021, and it's from Memphis, Tennessee. So it's got that lovely red flash. Um, showing some detail here about the, uh, the tail fin and how it should be painted. And then we've got our stencil decals here going on. Okay, and then we've also got in the same grey scheme, we can have... McCord, Wright Patterson, or as another, this is Hanoi Taxi originally looked from Wright Patterson. And then we've got here, we've got the C141B Hanoi Taxi, which is actually as this one was repainted. Um, and then we're coming down here, we've got the US Air Force C14As. Uh, so, you know, a bit of cutting up, a bit of modification to the kit shouldn't be too difficult to do. And uh, this has actually got the Red Cross on the tail as well. And um, looking quite nice. And then we've got another grey one here, which is 1960s, and it's got grey set different coloured panels. And if I didn't already have this one painted, I may have been tempted to do that one because it looks quite uh, quite attractive with the different colours. But I'm not going to start painting this again. And then we've also got the um, the NASA one there, which is which is a lovely looking airplane, and hopefully I've got enough decals in here to do that one as well, because I would like to do that. Uh, buy this kit again, cut the front off, shorten it, remove this top part, and uh, and make it again. And then we've also got the lizard scheme, which again I'd love to do, um, but uh, yeah, I only got so many hours in a day. And then here we've got the wing walkways which are very, very nice. I'll show you something special about those in a minute. And also, as you can see it's saying on here, the reference website has helpful photos and larger versions of these drawings. Please visit the reference site first before you email us with questions. So you've got this 
uh, lovely um, website there which I'll have a look at now and you can see that's www.caracalmodels.com reference and CD144002 and it's telling us here the walkways around the refueling area um, they, they differ on the white and the grey ones and they go on over the page here we've got some more details about the upper wing surfaces and the walkways on the tail of the, uh, the white and grey ones so that's our instruction sheet which for a set of decals I think you'll agree is quite good now this is the main sheet so here we've got a lot of glossiness I'm gonna to have to make sure we're not so we've got the lovely NASA uh, lovely NASA insignia there which is going to come in handy for something or other and then we've got all the different tail flashes there you're going to have a lot of spares in your spares box and then we've got yellow door markings we've got black door markings and then we've got the US Air Force we've got the stars and bars in high vis and then we've got USAF there across the bottom and here's the most important bit printing litty by cartograph so when I actually do part 11 the second half I'll be using these decals and you'll see there'll be quite a difference I hope <laughs> and then we've got here the US Air Force again and then we've got the low vis markings here and then we've got all our insignias going down all our emblems and then here we've got a load more numbers and everything and again printed by cartograph and the other thing that's nice about these if you look at these wing walkways as long as you use good decal solutions and you've got a good surface these will go down and that carrier film will disappear no problem at all now a lot of decals they just have that shape there and it's quite difficult to get down and keep it all straight and even so with those large areas of carrier film that's going to make it a lot easier to put down and you can see they're a lot thinner than the um, than the rodent decals as well so um looking forward to using these um, Obviously this review is going to go out before part 11, so if you're watching this and you haven't seen part 11 yet, part 11 will be out within the next 24 to 48 hours. So there we go, that is the Caracal Models C141 Starlifter decal set for the Roden kit. So if you've got this kit, if you've got this or the Lizard Scheme one, I would recommend spending the money. I got these from Model Hobbies, I think they're about £12. Um, well worth getting I mean I know it's half the price of the model to start with but really really well worth getting and hopefully I'll end up with enough spares to do another one so I'll get another kit and that helps to uh, share it all out then doesn't it so thanks for watching if you've liked this video please give me a like and if you didn't like it well give me a like anyway so um, <laughs> I'll see you all soon bye for now